in this tutorial we will learn about polar array click on arrow near the rectangular array here is the polar array click on it then select the object you want to array then press enter give the center point around which you want to array i want to array around the center of this circle so click here it has created array with six number of atoms from here you can change the number of atoms how much you want then here you can define the angle to fill suppose i want to fill these number of atoms in 180 degree so click here so it will fill it in 180 degree and if you want it on the upper side from here you can change the direction click on the direction so from here you can reverse the direction and if you want to define the angle between two atoms from here you can define the angle between two atoms as per that it will create the array with that angle suppose i will make it 360 degree then from here you can define the number of rows i want it to be 3 so it will go further then here you can give the gap between the rows and here is the total length if you want to fit the number of atoms in total length that you can specify from here from here you can keep the array associate you that means it will be connected it can be edited if you remove this it will be act as a separate atoms then if you click on this rotate atoms it will not rotate the atoms it will keep the atom as it is if you want it to be rotated click on this rotate atoms so it will rotate the atoms then close the array if you want to edit the array click again on this any one atom of the array from here you can edit the array again here is the edit source option if you want to make any changes to the source atom suppose i want to trim it from inside then click on this edit source select the atom okay then perform your activity trim enter remove this atom enter that modification will be applicable to every atom then to come out click on this edit array and click on this save changes in this way you can edit the source again click on the atom then there is one more option is replace atom if you want to replace any one atom with other shape you can do it using this replace atom for this we will create one object suppose at some position i need this ellipse here i want this object to be elliptical i want this ellipse in the place of this shape click on the array then click on replace atom then select the replacement object enter give the base point this center point then select an atom in the array to replace this atom then press enter and exit in this way you can place any atom anywhere in the array as per your requirement so that is the replace atom and if you don't want this uh, replacement or any modification click on this reset array so it will bring back the original array and it will re remove all the replaced atoms with the original atoms then there is this level option is there using this level option you can create array in z direction in 3d for that we will start 3d click on this 3d modeling then ac isometric then make it shaded we'll create one reference circle then we will create one reference atom suppose i want it to be cone give the center point give the bottom radius give the height now i want to array this cone on this circle click on this polar array select the object enter give the center point this center point and here is the array and if you want to array it in the z direction here you can give the number of levels number of desired level so it will create array as per that here you can give the gap between the levels and if required you can give the total gap as per that it will array it then here in row there is increment 
elevation option is there to see this effect of this we will create one more array again click on ACI isometric make it shaded then create one reference circle create one cylinder give the radius give the height then make the polar array click on this polar array select object enter give the center point around which array to be created with the number of atoms then here we will give the rows suppose I want 5 rows in this increment we will give the height of 2 enter escape the rows are increment by the given distance so in this way you can use the increment elevation distance so rows will be shifted by that distance that's all thanks for watching we will stop here